Good day, everybody. I am Scott Stanton, also known as the original Tombstone Tourist. And today we are featuring a video sent in by one of my great friends, Maude Carrard, friend of the Tombstone Tourist. And Maude is from Paris, France. So naturally, she can find some really great stuff for us. And today's video is none other than Dom Perignon. Now, if the name sounds familiar, that's because Dom Perignon was a French Benedictine monk at the Abbey of St. Peter in Javier's, France. Now, what is the Abbey of St. Peter? The Abbey is owned by Moet and Chandon, the famous, famous house of Champagne. Um, and I think it would be really cool if I was opening Champagne right now, but at $400 a bottle, that's not going to happen today. Now, Dom Perignon is buried in the church at St. Sadolf. And it's right down um, the road from the Abbey. So you can take a door, tour, enjoy a, a glass of uh, a wine, a champagne, and then take the trip on down to his final resting place. Now, as you, we walk through the church, you can see as we go around, we're going to make our way towards the altar. Now, the interesting thing is, is Dom Perignon did not invent champagne as we know it. But he did develop a lot of the processes that are used today. So he is very well renowned for that. And um, uh, his work about 200 years later, that then appeared uh, the champagne that we know today. Now as we make our way towards the, the front of the church, which is gorgeous by the way, as you can see. Um, it's interesting to note that on the left is Dom Perignon, and to the right of him, is another famous uh, winemaker, Dom uh, Jean Royer. So I'm gonna check out now. This is Scott Stanton from the Church of Saint Sadolf in Javier's, France. Have a great day. 